So if you guys watch any other sailing channels, you'll see them uh, tying up their boat in a marina, uh, at an anchorage or something like that and just assume that it's part of their life, it's what they do, um, it's pretty mundane at this point, but for us, it's all new, we've never done it before. Um, and we keep coming back to the boat and ropes are broken and the bow sprit. Yep, bow. Called a bow sprit? The bow sprit keeps bashing up against the concrete when the tide is really, really low. Um, so, I mean, it's stuff like that that we're trying to figure out how to stop doing. But I mean, you'd assume that people just know how to do it when they buy a boat. But we've not, never done anything like this before. So. We're just learning a lot and you know trying things again seeing what works seeing what doesn't so it's all pretty new to us Because this is bashing we want to be able to get rid of the anchor so that we can easily maneuver and stuff the anchors now come loose <laughs> So guilty, I'm standing in the that I'm dying. <laughs> I offered to do it. <laughs> My boat sunk. <laughs> My boat did not sink. Quite a few stuff. Quite. We speak it all right. Well, you know, speak the English. English. This episode is kind of raw. It's it's the real stuff that you actually that you have to deal with when you buy a boat. We woke up to a really unpleasant phone call. Our boat was Our boat was rocking against the dock. Yeah, and things had broken. And when we got there, I mean, it was a big storm before the, that night, and still during. And by the time we got there, it was still pouring with rain. It was horrible. That is damn close. Really? <gasps> Look at this. Oh no! Pouring down with rain, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to. Our whole bowsprit was over the concrete. It was really scary. Luckily, there was a... Luckily, it was high tide. It was high tide, but I mean, it hadn't always been high tide. I think it had been broken most of the night. And luckily, there was a chain in the way, so our hull didn't get damaged. Honestly, if the chain wasn't there, I think it would have hit. Damn. We would have been screwed. Yeah, I, but we're not. We're not. We're okay. I think it's time for some honesty about fixing up boats. Most people can't afford to just go and buy a brand new boat, so they've got to make the choice. Are you going to buy an equipped boat, something that's... A ready to sail boat. Yeah, like it's... Uh, it might need a little bit of work, but I mean it's got everything that you need. You can go out and you can start sailing. Or you can do what we decided to do, fix up a boat. And we were fine with the idea of doing a fix me up because we... Well, for me at least, I want to learn. It's viewed as cheaper to fix up a boat than to just go buy a fully equipped boat, but it's gotten to the point now where I don't think that's the case anymore. The thing that you don't really consider when you're comparing buying a boat that's already equipped and then fixing one up, it's time. It's not just the cost of, of fixing up the boat, it's everything in between that you don't quite realize. So the story was that we, we have a friend at the harbour, he's built his own boat and he's busy getting it ready to go sailing around Australia as well. There's a chance that the boat is in the hull at least, is in serious condition. He went one day to go look at the boat just to check on it. He got a massive scare. So that was not nice to hear at all, especially from someone as as an experienced sailor as, as him. And we were also told that we'd probably have to redo our rigging. The next step here is taking the boat out the harbour, putting it on the hard, getting a surveyor to come and have a look at it, which we are busy organising. I feel like my bubble was burst a little bit, so... It was, but it, it, it needed to it, it needed to be. It needed to happen. So we're going to go and talk to the harbour master now, Mick, and find out some stuff from him. About and taking the boat out and... Yeah. I mean, we admit we have, we should have done a survey. But the hardest part is just it's, not actually knowing. Yeah. I mean, the cost that we got, it was quite a not scare. Not just that, it was also the thing of you, your hull is possibly Le damaged. Be which would, head, you know... Which would destroy the entire thing. It would, <laughs> you know, write the boat off, you know. We'll keep you updated on everything that's going on. 
Yeah. Mm.